Thank you for inviting me. I actually think these handbooks and tools are very useful. Uh, I personally am working now with UN Somalia. I'm in the field and supporting the Somalis writing their constitution. And it's very useful be, to be able to draw on uh, best practices, uh, not even best practices, but interesting ideas and innovations uh, from different countries. We put this to our national stakeholders and they think about these options and then maybe would consider including them in, the, in their constitutions. So I think just knowing what's done in different parts of the world, how they've addressed problems, uh, how they've designed their institutions, just having this information at hand to be able to present to them is very useful. I think we do recognize that uh, constitution building is a very uh, personal, national and sovereign pro process. But uh, often constitutions are written uh, these days at the end of uh, a conflict or crisis or transition where the national stakeholders, the nation state itself uh, is under siege or they're not really prepared for this. So they do need international assistance uh, in terms of ideas, sometimes in terms of funding to to fund processes, to dial uh, fund dialogue processes. So I think the role of internationals one way or the other uh, uh, is seen as an, as an inevitable given. But I do agree that it has to be managed, that uh, uh, we, should be, we should be working uh, in cooperation with uh, the national uh, government. Uh, we should give them ideas and we should also remind them of their commitments to international human rights standards. Uh, that uh, that is, I think, very important. But with tho with those two parameters in mind, we should also, you know, take time to listen to what the what the uh, national actors really want. And often, international uh, actors uh, tend to push their own agendas, and that is not well received. So I think a lot of sensitivity is needed uh, on the part of the international community to advise, encourage, support, uh, all that, but never push down a solution. Uh, down the throat of uh, 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 a, a, new, uh, a state that's writing its constitution because it may not last. Yes, I, I, I think uh, constitutions send, uh, tend to be seen as a kind of wishing well and there's a tendency to overload it with rights and expectations from uh, of what people want and what the international community want to see there without considering how this can possibly be implemented. So when you put in a right uh, to health or education, etc., you must also think about where is the budget coming from uh, to support that right, uh, when will there be legislation passed to enact it and how will it be implemented. So don't simply overload it with rights that you don't intend to implement because otherwise uh, very sh shortly people will just stop respecting the constitution, they won't take it seriously. So you really have to see the constitution as an uh, instrument to improve people's lives and the community's lives. So you have to think of implementation and follow through and I think that's important otherwise people just write a constitution and then walk away from it and it doesn't mean anything in that country. Mm -hmm.